Shalom Israeli fans, I'm here at the Download Festival and I'm here with two members of Imperium. Fabian Eichner, Marcel Bartel. Nice to meet you gentlemen. Thank you for having us, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much, man. First question comes to mind, you two have been tagging for quite a while, but it looks like you've been teaming for years. You two pretty much are, I swear to God, a perfect tag team. How long have you known each other to, to pretty much become a great tag team? It's crazy, it's a really funny story. Um, actually, we never met each other before. Uh, we moved to Orlando, Florida. It's funny, uh, we used to work for the same promotions, we used to work in the same countries, but we never physically met each other. So um, when I arrived in Orlando, I got a mail that uh, I was supposed to ride with him in the same car, and I didn't have a license yet. So um, I texted him, and he was already living a, a week in Orlando. So um, he was so nice and picked me up, and the very moment I closed that door, we just clicked. You know, it was amazing. Um, uh, you confirm that story? Yeah, yeah, I've, I, I remember it because he emailed me the night before, so I picked him up, and. Uh, like I said, we never met before, but by the time we got to the performance center, which was like a 20 minute drive, we're already clicking and talking about all kinds of stuff. And I think that chemistry also shows on camera when we're wrestling in the team, because we like our attributes complement each other perfectly. Like he's a technical, more strategic guy. I'm the powerhouse slash high flying. And if you put us together, like you said, we pretty much we make the perfect package. And I think that's why we work so well. And it shows in the ring. So we're having a good time beating people up. Completely agree. Uh, just for the Israeli fans who may not know you, how did you get involved? How did you get started in the wrestling business? Where, who do you idolize the kids? What's your inspirations? So uh, I was born in northern Italy, like in a very small village, and I always wanted to do something special with my life after I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger for the first time. So uh, I was actually a pro skier before I started wrestling, and I just came across it on TV, saw the last five minutes of SmackDown, and I said, that's it. So uh, I texted Alex Wright in Germany and uh, he trained me. It was a four hour drive every time. I started out with him and then made my way to England. And from England, got the chance to be in the Cruiserweight Classic. So I must have done something right because uh, they wanted to sign me right after. Well, uh, I was born with a father who was in that business for 33 years, Axel Dieter. And um, yeah, obviously, I always wanted to become a sports entertainer just like my dad, right? And um, I started with amateur boxing when I was nine and uh, switched to amateur wrestling at one point just to become a professional wrestler at one point. And yeah, that's what happened. My dad always supported me a lot. And uh, for me, it was a little different than for most guys because obviously my dad being in the business, I grew up with different heroes. Obviously still Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, all those men were heroes to me, right? But uh, I also grew up with uh, legends like William Regal, Robbie Brookside, my dad, Axel Dieter, Steve Wright, all those men were heroes to me too, you know? So I'm coming from a like, uh, more European standpoint maybe. And um, to me, it was a gigantic surprise uh, arriving here because I always wanted, I just wanted to wrestle. I always wanted to do what my father did. And um, even if I never uh, would have made a penny with that, I would have wrestled, right? But I think, um, yeah, that was just a reward at the end of the day because I truly and genuinely always did it because of my passion. And here we are today. Always a great story to hear. Um, this is the Download Festival. Any bands you're particularly wanting to see here? Well, I was always a big fan of Rob Zombie, especially because uh, a guy by the name of Edge had a theme song back in the day. Oh, yeah. Never gonna stop me. So uh, I always liked him. I enjoy him. So I don't know about you. What do you got? Yeah, I would say the same thing. Maybe Slayer. Uh, maybe maybe Slipknot. Um, it's like with us being on the road, we listen to everything a little bit. You know what I mean. So uh, I, I know a couple of songs here and there, but I would say those three, pretty much. Yeah. So we're probably if you hear anything on the road, we'll probably see you in Coachella someday. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. I'm saying if you're hearing everything on the road, we're probably going to see you in Coachella someday or not. Uh, R&B, black music, rap music. Oh yeah, I like that too. Yeah. I, I, like honestly, in my opinion, there's always a good song. It doesn't really matter what uh, style of music. I'll always find something I like, you know? And especially like, like you said before, you're traveling so much, you're on the road all the time. So you have to switch it up after a while. You listen to that for a while, you listen to this for a while. So all, all sorts of music come into play and heavy metal is definitely one of them. Being a part of NXT and NXT UK, you have the performance center to upgrade your endurance, your physiques. What kind of tips or maybe tools you feel you gained by joining NXT in, in, in the, instead of uh, in the Pennington? Pardon, one more time, please. You joined NXT and NXT UK. You had the performance center working on the, upgrading your physique, your endurance. You learn what kind of tips from all the, the coaches there. How to get there or? No, no, like uh, how, do, how do you better yourself as a wrestler? What kind of tips do you feel you got as, out of the trainers to become a, a better professional wrestler? 
There's a lot, man. You got to work hard. You got to work mentally. You got to work physically. Obviously, you got to work out. You know, you got to work out hard in the ring, outside the ring. Um, you got to stay on your diet. Got to watch your diet. You know, that's a huge part of it. You know, probably like 70%. Um, you got to watch uh, sports entertainment all the time, like all styles of it, probably. Like, it, if you would ask me, I, w I would watch um, Japanese stuff. I would watch Mexican stuff. I would definitely watch uh, WWE. And, um, Oh, there's so many things you have to do uh, being a sports entertainer, right? Like, apart from the physical stuff, I, I would say, like, watch as much as you can. Try to steal as much as you can with your uh, ears and your eyes because that's the best you can do, in my opinion. I think, like, one of the big advantages being in NXT right now compared to the Indies is that everything is just more of a professional level. And the Indies, you're kind of left to everything to do yourself. Like, you book the travel yourself. You're like, you know, everything that happens, it's kind of in your hand. Whereas with WWE, you got a strength coach, you just go there and you do what he tells you. You watch the matches with your coaches, they can help you out even further. Whereas in the Indies, you kind of have to figure out everything yourself. So I think that's definitely a big advantage if somebody's helping, just you in particular, you just get better that much faster. So I, really I think especially when it comes to medical support, right? Medical because support, that's for sure. uh, that's for me that was the that was the biggest difference. Um, WWE, their first priority is to keep us healthy. Whenever I step through that uh, to that curtain, coming back, there's always a doctor checking on me, giving me everything I need, making sure I'm okay, and you know I stay okay. So that probably is the biggest uh, change. And honestly, after like 10 years on the independent scene. It's so nice uh, to feel somebody's taking care of you and actually cares about you. That's that's very nice, and that I feel like that's the biggest thing that changed. For sure. One last thing: Do you have any message for the Israeli wrestling community? Shout out to to the whole community, to Israel. Thank you very much for all the support. Please keep supporting what we do. Keep supporting Imperium uh, because for us, sky is the limit. The matter sacred, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just remember, we're here to change this universe. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you.